Hi everybody, Jason Voorhees here, president of the Mask Wearers Club. Bit of a trendsetter, but nowadays it's cool for everybody to wear masks. Hey, did you know Ron Deshear has a whole new line of masks? Four different ones to choose from. Pick your favorite, put it on, and go out, be styling and profiling. You won't look this good, but at least you'll be safe. Order your up all night masks at rondashearsocialhour.com or else. Hi, it's Rhonda Shear, and you may remember me from USA. Up all night. Did I get you through puberty when you were a mere teenager? Were you sneaking down the stairs and putting the TV on at 10 p.m. or later and watching those sexy films? Ooh, I bet that was me, and you were doing that. Anyway, you can book me at cameo.com slash Rhonda Shear, and I will have a private message for you. Anyway, book me on cameo.com slash Rhonda Shear. Hi, I'm Rhonda Shear, and this is your new favorite strapless bra. Introducing the Ah Bando Bra. Rediscover your wardrobe, your shoulders, and your confidence with the Ah Bando Bra by Rhonda Shear. Most stores will charge $50 to $80 for a strapless bra. Today, you can get not one, but two of the original Ah Bando Bras for just $44.90. Shop the Ah Bando Bra 
at rondashear.com. What to do? Hold on, baby, Rhonda, she's got you. Grab your computer, log on, baby, you got the power. It's the Rhonda Sheer Social Lab. It's the Rhonda Sheer Social Lab. Hi, it's Rhonda at the fabulous Playboy Mansion with Playmates and two great movies. Next on USA, up all night. your bedtime buddy and tonight we'll be giving you an inside look at the world famous playboy mansion i'll also have some guests who will join me in sharing our playboy experiences yes it's the magazine that has been entertaining america for 40 years and we've got it for you tonight in addition to that we have two really good films later we've got the classic 70s comedy serial but first out we've got far out man it's a film that introduces you to several celebrities here's one now this is Dr. Little Dick. Why not get started with tonight's hypnotic film? You will like this film. You will tell a friend. Far Out Man on USA. Up! All night. No way. Tommy Chong is playing a big, dim-witted dope smoker in this movie. What a stretch for him. I think I smell an Oscar. Ooh. Okay. I also smell a Playboy magazine. Yes, yes, look what I found. This is Rhonda's October issue. Well, I'm calling it my October issue because I'm celebrating the fact that I am in this issue. Well, look, my name, Rhonda Shear, looking good despite being up all night. Um, actually, it's just my name that's on the cover. I'm not in the issue. No, that's not true. I'm in the issue. Buy it. You'll find out. But this is what I'm really excited about. I want to introduce you to the one and only Monique St. Pierre. Hi, girl. Oh, my mm. Now, now, look at this woman. Is this face gorgeous? This, is, wait, Monique is, was, is still Playmate of the Year 1979. No, 1947. Oh, please. Would you, look, look, at, look at this body. Check the body. Look at this. Can you believe this incredible? Okay, I know I'm being bad, but I have to tell you, she totally, well, what we call, she styled my layout. Well, you know what? Let's leave it there, and then when we come back, we'll Linda, tell the we'll tell the just, stories. We'll tell stories, and you just think about what styling a layout means, and just use your imagination. Okay. All right. Now, okay. don't go away because right. we'll have more USA up all night from the glamorous Playboy Mansion with the glamorous Monique Saint Pierre. <laughs> Hi, it's Rhonda here at the Playboy Mansion with Monique St. Pierre, who was Playmate of the Year and who styled Rhonda's Playboy layout. Monique, you could tell us so much about this pool that, that we're behind. This pool? This, this, pool, <laughs> this, pool, this pool would not be lying still. Oh. Have a good talk. It would be walking. It would be walking. Yeah, it was fun time up fun here. Oh, Monique, you know all Should that. Should we tell? Should we tell? Tell us I don't know. a little, just something. Tell us about just any little story. Okay, look at that hill. The hill. Now, what's on the hill? Lights. Lights. Trees. And trees. And there's grass up there. Grass. There's grass up there. 
And there was lots of parties up there. Wow. Half are you going to kill me? Is no, gonna, this is, is great. No, this is, you know what? Because you're not, it's just Sorry, all, yeah. it's, it's all left up to the imagination. And, you know, I can mow grass. We you can, can? We can go up there and I mow. can clip flowers. Oh, good. It's That's a what tame. goes on up there as they mow and clip. <laughs> now, we're going to talk more about the layout. So don't go anywhere because Monique knows all the secrets. Well, there was another blow to children's television when it was announced today that Dopey Dave was canceled. Dopey Dave shown here. <laughs> was a lovable pot-smoking cartoon that will be missed this fall. Man, cheers now this. Here's more Far Out Man on USA. Up all night. <laughs> You're bad. Listen to that evil man. <laughs> Not bad for an up all night movie. The list of celebrities in this Far Out Man seems endless. Tommy Chong, Ray Don Chong, C. Thomas Howell, Cheech Marin, Judd Nelson, and Martin Hall. Just to name a few. Hey. That's almost enough to play Hollywood Squares. But enough about the movie. Let's get back to Monique St. Pierre, who knows all, and the Playboy Mansion, which I'm so excited to be here tonight. And of course, Rhonda's Playboy October issue. And could you just hand on hand? And of course, then we have your. Oh, <laughs> Where did you dig that up from? We have the Play Market, the Playmate of the Year <laughs> issue. Can you check this issue oh, out, God, Monique? Is this woman gorgeous? Monique Saint Pierre <laughs> is fabulous, and of course. Could you just hold this for a second? She's oh, such yeah, a good absolutely. friend. And, and I just want to. What are you doing? I beg your <laughs> pardon. Not, we can't show everything on Wait, the show. Wait, no, one gonna, minute. No, I'm just looking Wait a minute. Because are we going to show your pictures? Course, you can show my yeah, pictures well, if we can show yeah, your pictures. Look at this girl's face. Yeah, and, 16. Well, look, <laughs> I'm hiding that. And, here, who is this? I'm going to teach you so. Oh, my. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Oh, my. Yeah, that's really nasty. This is. <laughs> you know. Oh, my. Oh. Well, guys, you'll just have to go and find this issue all by yourself. But I know that you will. We'll be right, right back. back. <laughs> Rhonda wants to hear from you. Write me at Rhonda, USA, up all night. P.O. Box 5719, Beverly Hills, California, 90209, 5719. to share welcome to share enterprises we want to show you a behind the scenes look of what we do here remember this is a place where you can find your ah moment this is where you can slip into slim find your secret slender i love what i do here at share enterprises because i love bringing you all the things that i design for myself and for you because i know all of us are the same and that we love great quality great comfort great fit beautiful colors luxurious fabrics it's all about you and it's all about you feeling the very very best you can you'll find a little bit of everything here at share enterprises our apparel is scrumptious we have leggings that you can wear every day of the week sleepwear great robes uh great tops great wraps we have lots of new things like great loungewear great sleepwear just a little bit different you're going to enjoy that as well we work for you all the time we love comfort here we love great quality and we want to make you feel the absolute best about yourself so let me hear from you remember you can facebook me 
You can Twitter me. You can Pinterest me. All the social media, you can find me right here at rondashear.com. Thanks for stopping by and come by frequently. We also do a lot of funny things around here too. Welcome to Retreat, a style oasis. Here at Retreat, we give beautiful and unique furniture, decor, art, and luxury items a second chance. Our team of experts carefully curates our collection of fabulous finds and offers unique pieces at affordable prices. From stunning furniture and decor to luxury accessories and apparel, we have a little something for everyone. It's Resale Reimagined. Come see our store located at 1940 Central Avenue in St. Petersburg, Florida, or browse our website at RetreatStPete.com. It's your late night lamb chops. Monique and Rhonda here at the Playboy Mansion, just girl talking and being naughty. And you have someone else to introduce me to who's absolutely beautiful. She's great. She's, She's great. I've worked with her before. Tina back. Another lamb chop. Come here, my dear. Tina. And this is a wonderful oh. Rhonda. Ooh, Hi, Tina. Rhonda. You're beautiful. Thank you. So are you. Oh. I love this woman. I watch you all the time. <laughs> you look just as beautiful in person. And my hair is just as big. It's just as big. <laughs> big <laughs> hair. Bigger. It's bigger. It's bigger. It's scarier. Now, now when were you a playmate? I was May 90. <gasps> Three years ago, oh, wow. the Margot Hemingway issue. Everybody wow. remembers that one. Yes, we do. We all remember yeah. That. Now, what, what was the most exciting thing about posing? Oh, my gosh. Or being a playmate? You know, everything. The traveling, the getting to meet people. Um, I got a good job out of it. <laughs> so <laughs> got that's it. always good. <laughs> and, um, and, of course, it's always interesting to pose nude in front of strangers. Um, oh, we like it. We're doing it <laughs> right after the show, but then you won't be here. And then you get to wear one of those little bunnies. Yes. Yeah. I'll never oh, get to wear a bunny. Bunny. I, I wear bunny. I should have worn my bunny. Maybe I'll give you a bunny. But I wasn't. You earned a bunny. I earned yeah. a bunny. You heard it here from Monique. I earned a bunny. She earned a big bunny. bunny. You're watching USA <laughs> up all night and far out, man. It's a real family picture. I'm hopping. <laughs> I say this because the entire... Chong family is in it now. So let's get back to our movie before Rhonda wigs out. <laughs> you know I'd hop. You know I'll hop. You know I'll do just about anything. We're watching Far Out Man, a movie that stars more Chongs than a Chinese phone book. I know, pretty weak, but hey, what can I say? Because this is not pretty weak. We have Monique St. Pierre. We have Tina, the beautiful Tina, Bach Rath. Oh, she was a real life playmate who has a real bunny. Well, not a real bunny. Yeah. It's missing tonight. It's home. It's home. Oh, it's bad. Yeah, there you go. Resting. It's, it's sleeping. A resting bunny. A resting bunny. <laughs> we are a not. good bunny. We're not resting. We're not all. resting bunny. Tell us a really juicy layout story. Well, I don't know how juicy it is, but uh, I Come think on, the first. Stretch it. The, okay, stretch it. <laughs> stretch it. I'll yeah, make up something. Now. She's so dignified. <laughs> <laughs> well, within the first couple of days of shooting, I'm still, I'm still so nervous. And here you are, you know, you're stark naked, and at this point you're not comfortable yet. There's a couple of guys out at the next building washing windows, and I look over and they're waving, and I wave, and then they were really waving, and it was great. It was so funny. And then, and then they fell. fell. And I loosened oh, up. Yeah. I loosened up. They fell. They fell. Yeah, right. And they weren't even window washers. That yeah, was right. scary. Yeah, that's the scary part. That's, like, that's what makes it juicy. <laughs> that's what makes it juicy. Yeah. And then... And now she's married to one of them. No, 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 no. See, we love these stories. Because America wants to know what really goes on. But then after those two days, it's like, yeah, this is fun. Oh, yeah. After that, I go home. I'm running around the house naked. My mother's like, you know, all the neighbors can see. I'm like, oh, that's okay. I know. You go to the no market problem. and you forget to wear your clothes. And you go, oh, that's right. Yeah, but, oh, but you don't pay for Not anything. <laughs> it's, it's, it's totally free. All right, thank you, Tina, for sharing that with us. And will you come back on Up All Night? I would love to. Okay, you come back and visit us in the studio in the Rhonda apartment. USA Up All Night will return after these messages. Look at them and smile. Nice. Look at that face. Yeah. <laughs> it's your posing playmate here at the Playboy Mansion with Monique St. Pierre, and we're telling all sorts of stories that you like hearing. 
What else is going on? And you know what? I want to introduce you to somebody. Someone Her else? name is Tawny Cable. Yeah. But Rhonda? Yes. You have to like really be cool because you're very shy. Okay. okay. Don't, you know. Don't so, be like normal. Yeah, don't be normal. Okay, okay. you'll freak her out. All right, I'll be very okay. dignified. All right, I'll be. Okay. Tatani? <laughs> Gosh, my dear. Very How are you? You are so quiet. Hello? Hi. 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 I love this girl. Monique, I mean, Tawny. Oh yeah. Tawny Cable. And these yeah. legs, they go on forever. Look at this. You are, pose, pose, pose. Do the pose. And to show us, I heard about the Tawny pose. Could you just give us an example? Tawny pose. All right, Tawny pose. It lifts. It lifts the breast. <laughs> <laughs> we have to do these things, you know. I'm trying, but they're not going anywhere. They're right around my oh, knees they're now. Perky little guys. Oh, oh, perky little perky guys. Little guys. <laughs> they're girls. Oh, oh. They're the girls. No, wait, no, we know they're the girls. Wait, I know, I know, I know, I know. The producer's going, let's get back to the movie. But just one question, Tony. What? When were you playing? We have to know. I was June of '89 which Mrs. Hefner was planning of the year. Wow. So, so guys, run like out to your issue. store and, yes, and check <laughs> check out Quiet Donnie. Ah! <laughs> We're going to send you right back to Far Out Man. And as we do, please keep an eye out for Tommy Chong's pupils. We think he's misplaced them. USA Up All Night drives on <laughs> remember send shoes to Rhonda Monique and Tawny we need them <laughs> anyway that was nice we got to meet the son of the far out man and his lovely ex-wife tree his name is Kyle I wonder why they didn't name him the far out sapling well girls <laughs> I know it's, it's just movie stuff you know I watch these movies I live for these movies but we want to know about you right now, Tawny, because I heard you all had a really about strange moi? Moi, moi, moi. Yes, You have to show the girls. Moi. It's a girl show. Oh, wait. Styling. It's styling. Styling. She's styling. 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 Tell us how you, you met the incredible Monique St. Pierre. Tell well, us. Well, actually, I, have, I had met her before. Actually, the first time I met you, she came in. I was eating breakfast here, yeah. shooting my layout, mm -hmm. and Monique comes in. And announces that she's pregnant. Yay. So the next time I see her, what happened? Nine months later. We're, 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 yeah, we're nine months later. Almost again. nine months later. And, and Tawny. Who's shy? Right. No, Tawny. Shy really Tawny. Shy. She really is. I'm not joking. You think I'm joking? She's... Tawny, completely <laughs> naked, in high heels only, oh, comes to God. come like this, right? <laughs> she comes to greet me like she's dressed. She forgets. Really, she's naked. I'm really, shy. She runs over and gives me a big hug, and I'm this like this. Honey's I can't like, even get close. I go, oh, what a beautiful body. <laughs> You're <laughs> naked. Tawny. These are the stories that you would never know unless you watched Up All Night. This is Up All so, Night. And she does that. Oh, well. Tawny, will you come back and visit us on of the set I of will. Up All Night? Because you're quiet and you're the type of lady that we like to have on that show. <laughs> right. She really is. And Monique's going to come back and do gossip like every few weeks for us. Yes, oh, she is. Wow. Oh, USA <laughs> Up All Night. We'll be right back after these messages. Thank you, Tawny. Let's, let's all do like a hug. A, a playmate hug. A playmate hug. <laughs> That's how our faces have to be in the camera. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rhonda Shear, and I'm so excited about the launch of my new book. It's called Up All Night from Hollywood Bombshell to Lingerie Mogul, Life Lessons from an Accidental Feminist. And yes, it is good reading for men, too. Any questions? Well, specifically, what in a book would be helpful to a man like myself? Well, um, I don't know if you're looking to change jobs or careers right now, but there's lessons and tips how you can do that at any age. I don't know if you're looking for a new girlfriend in your life right mm -hmm. now, but I found love like later on, like you too. And, and, um, and so you can, there's lessons on how to find the woman of your life. And, and there's lessons about everything that you've ever learned in your life. So yes. And, and you know what else? You look like the kind of guy that likes to look at pictures. I do. 
I prefer a lot of pictures in my books. Yes. Funny you know that about me. I just had that feeling that you would like colorful pictures and look at all the pretty color pictures Those in that. Those are book. nice. There's nice, huh? Very nice. Okay, so there's pictures and there's life lessons and there's tips. And I even think you'll get that woman of your dreams if you pick up Up All Night right now on Amazon. Welcome to Retreat, a style oasis. Here at Retreat, we give beautiful and unique furniture, decor, art, and luxury items a second chance. Our team of experts carefully curates our collection of fabulous finds and offers unique pieces at affordable prices. From stunning furniture and decor to luxury accessories and apparel, we have a little something for everyone. It's Resale Reimagined. Come see our store located at 1940 Central Avenue in St. Petersburg, Florida, or browse our website at RetreatStPete.com. Isn't that neat the way everyone rides their bikes to work? Rhonda tried riding her bike to work, but I kept getting my boa caught in the chain. Now you're wondering who this hunk of man is. Well, this is Bill Farley. He's the director of communications for Playboy Enterprises, and he's got big muscles. Thank you, Rhonda. Thank you for coming tonight. Thank, no, thank you. He allowed us into this beautiful mansion, and we are honored to be here, so thank you so much. And it's really a pleasure to have you What's here. it like to work with all wait, these? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I have, you have to do style. Style. No, no. Styling, Rhonda. Yeah, Monique. We, we I mean, to do styling. Styling. You're a professional. St I am a professional. <laughs> Don't try this no, at no. home, kids. No, no. She's a pro. No, listen to Put me. This Put this hand here. You think that this here. is it's easy. It's not easy. Look straight out there at the cameraman no, 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 no. and look no. sexy. Look sexy. No, Suck look at the camera. Oh, You're hold suck. Hold, hold, hold the shirt <laughs> shoulders back. <laughs> <laughs> hold the shoulders. You are. Right. No, no, look. No, make it uncomfortable. Like this. No, you got to be in pain. Pain. Put this leg out. Twist here. Twist up. Oh, oh, hold your face up. up. Yes. Yeah, we you want you to appreciate what you, well, what these girls go through. Yes. Are you feeling? I feel like Boy George. <laughs> <laughs> she just demonstrated styling gonna and kill us. Phil's going to kill us, but we love him. He does have big muscles. Your mansion model. We'll be right back with more cereal and USA up on <laughs> after these messages. <laughs> wow. Look. Wow. Ooh. Hearness. Thanos. Witness, witness. That was beautiful, Sally. Thank you. I just made it up. Let's return. I love doing that. Oh, to cereal on USA. Up all night. This is wild in here. Look at that look on your face. <laughs> is there a look? I could Did see I oh, evil, evil in those eyes. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, we're back. My feet are so happy. We now return to Cereal on USA up all night. Don't you love your feet rubbed? Oh, I love my feet rubbed. Oh. Don't you love your legs rubbed? Yes. Anything. <laughs> It's Rhonda with my very good friend who made me look beautiful and playboy Monique St. Pierre because she's gorgeous. Um, I had the best time with you. But you know what we have to do now? We have to go to the hilarious conclusion to a hilarious movie. Yes, it's cereal on USA up all night. Come back, okay? Have a great time. Bye. <laughs> Well, that's the last of Serial and this week's edition of USA Up All Night. We've had the best time here at the world-famous Playboy Mansion. I want to thank you, Hefner, Monique St. Pierre, isn't she gorgeous? Tina Bachroth, isn't she gorgeous? Tawny Cable, what can I say but wow, you are lucky fans. I also want to thank Playboy Magazine and Bill Farley, what a guy, who made tonight's visit to the Playboy Mansion possible. Hey. Stick around because we'll be showing mugs these girls next. As for me, I'm out of here. But tune in next week when we'll do something completely different all over again. Hey, and don't forget, Rhonda's issue of Playboy hits the stand September 7th, the October issue. Remember, from the keeper of the sizzle kiss, if it's L.A., it's Rhonda up all night. Nighty night.
Welcome to Retreat, a style oasis. Here at Retreat, we give beautiful and unique furniture, decor, art, and luxury items a second chance. Our team of experts carefully curates our collection of fabulous finds and offers unique pieces at affordable prices. From stunning furniture and decor to luxury accessories and apparel, we have a little something for everyone. It's Resale Reimagined. Come see our store located at 1940 Central Avenue in St. Petersburg, Florida, or browse our website at RetreatStPete.com. Hey, welcome to RondaShear.com, the best place to shop for your intimates and loungewear. We have great sales all the time. We have a full size range. So we think that beauty comes in all shapes and all sizes. And check out our new skin tones. Find your new. Tell your friends. There's no intimates anywhere like RondaShear.com. Excuse me. That's the doorbell, Al. Come in! Oh, hi. I'm Brenda. I'm your new neighbor. I just moved into the house across the street. Oh, yeah. The old Thompson house. You know, he used to be in charge of the soy trap over at Mr. Egg Roll, but then he got promoted to the guy who says, what size drink with that? <laughs> so we knew he'd be moving to a better neighborhood. <laughs> Hi, I'm Peggy. Hi. If you want anyone to tell a secret to, just tell me. Oh, and if you need any gossip on any of the neighbors, just ask me. <laughs> people tell me everything. <laughs> yeah? Well, I've already heard about the people who live on the other side of you, the Bundys. <laughs> Boy, the stories I've been hearing about them. They say the husband will steal your paper, stalk your pets, and eat your garbage. Hey, half a potato is not garbage. Anyway, this moving in is difficult. It's harder because I don't have a man. I know. Where do you find one these days? Anyway, listen, the movers, they left my couch out in front of the house, and I have a job interview. I dance on tables for men near airports. <laughs> so I was wondering if you could watch it for me until I get back. Well, a quarter might keep my eyes open. <laughs> you know, it's funny. A quarter used to keep them closed in high school. <laughs> well, Miss, uh, it's my day off. And as you can see, I'm all alone. So uh, I don't mind moving that couch for you. Well, it is a big couch. But then you're a big man. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brenda Kuzdrowski. Peggy, do you mind if I borrow this big, strong guy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Just have him back by tomorrow. He has to perform brain surgery in the morning, and he has a loafer sale in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my mother worries so. <laughs> After you, my rear, I, I mean, my dear. You are too tired to fix the doorbell, and yet you can go move her couch? Yeah. <laughs> Let's uh, hurry up and get that couch inside before Peg wants to go sit on it. <laughs>
the VH1 Top 21 Countdown. I'm Rhonda Shear, your guest host. You know, when it came time to shoot the video for That's What Love Is For, Amy Grant's video director took her to the craters of the moon. Literally. Well, maybe it was just a case of bad acne. Craters of the Moon is a national monument in Idaho formed by volcanoes some 15,000 years ago. Well, give or take 20 minutes. NASA originally used it to train astronauts. Amy Grant and crew were soon to discover why. Metaphorically, the harsh terrain symbolizes the often rocky road of relationships. In at number seven, here's That's What Love Is For. Here's a band whose supply of memorable melodies seem inexhaustible. After a four-year hiatus in which the members of Genesis pursued individual projects, the band is back together and on the charts. At number six, here's Genesis with No Son of Mine. Hmm. The greatest hits under the sun, VH1 Top 21. Hi, I'm Rhonda Shear, your guest host, and welcome back to the VH1 Top 21 Countdown. On her second album, Mariah Carey wanted a greater voice in the recording process, so along with writing all the lyrics, she co-produced all 10 tracks. The result is a string of hit singles. At number five, here is Can't Let Go. Rod Stewart has built his career on his incredible talent as an interpretive singer. He can remake any song and make it sound fresh. And that's without panty liners. <laughs> so it comes as no surprise to find Rod Stewart at number four with Broken Arrow, penned by Robbie Robertson. It was a fateful night for Peter Lord when he sat down at the piano and played blowing kisses in the wind. In attendance at that private performance was Paula Abdul, who fell in love with it. Lord and his band, Family Stand, would end up writing, producing, and arranging eight of the 11 tracks on Paula's latest album, Spellbound. Here at number three is a song that started it all, blowing kisses in the wind. VH1, VH1. Countdown. The Welcome back to the VH1 Top 21 Countdown. I'm Ron Deshear, your guest host. For his latest album release, Richard Marx wanted to pay homage to his hometown of Chicago and the variety of music that blared from its streets. Fresh Street is, it's the, when I was a kid, it was the place I was supposed to not go near. It was like the red light district. And when I was a kid, it was don't go down to Rush Street. And, so, of course, you want to go hang out and check it out. And it was uh, in the 40s, um, the hub of all the blues, uh, I mean, the jazz clubs. And in the 50s, blues clubs. And in the 60s and 70s, it was, there were punk clubs there and rock clubs. And, and now, um, that whole area around Rush Street is, is responsible for so many different kinds of music. And I realized that all the different kinds of music that I love, um, I heard bits and pieces of in that area. So... Seeing as how there's so much variety of music on my album, yeah. I thought it was it was perfect title, and it was it's, But ultimately, it's just a tip of my hat to my to my hometown. Here's Richard Marks with "Keep Coming Back," this week's number two video. 
This is your last chance to cast your vote for your favorite. Don't go away, because when we come back, we'll be playing the number one video. Coming up on VH1. Welcome again to VH1's Top 21 Countdown. I'm Rhonda Shear, your guest host. That was Wilson Phillips' Impulsive, the number one video one year ago this week. It's time for this week's number one video, right after we recap the top nine. Curtis Steiger steps down from number eight to number 10 with I Wonder Why. Gloria Estefan slides down two places to number nine with Live for Loving You. George Michael leaps six places to number eight with Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me. Slipping down from number five to number seven, it's Amy Grant's That's What Love Is For. Genesis hangs on to the number six with No Son of Mine. Mariah Carey jumps six places to number five with Can't Let Go. Giving up the number one birth, Rod Stewart's Broken Arrow is this week's number four video. Paula Abdul's Blowing Kisses in the Wind slips down one to number three. Last week at number three, this week at number two is Keep Coming Back. Keep coming back to our number one video incorporates a special effects technique popularized in the movie Terminator 2. It's called morphing, which also happens in college after a night of beer and pizza. Morphing was seen in the sequence where one person metamorphosizes into another. Now you know how they came up with the term morphing. The technique takes two computer images and seamlessly transforms one into the other. Of course, it's not as easy as I make it sound. The 50-second sequence took 10 weeks to produce. It took much less time, though, for Michael Jackson to hit number one with black or white. Thanks for watching the VH1 Top 21 Countdown. This is Rhonda Shear saying, I've had a great time. You've been incredible. I feel like going dancing. And just remember, money can't buy you happiness unless you know the right place to shop. Thank you and goodbye. Welcome to Retreat, a style oasis. Here at Retreat, we give beautiful and unique furniture, decor, art, and luxury items a second chance. Our team of experts carefully curates our collection of fabulous finds and offers unique pieces at affordable prices. From stunning furniture and decor to luxury accessories and apparel, we have a little something for everyone. It's Resale Reimagined. Come see our store located at 1940 Central Avenue in St. Petersburg, Florida, or browse our website at retreatstpete.com. Hey, welcome to rondashear.com, the best place to shop for your intimates and loungewear. We have great sales all the time. We have a full size range. So we think that beauty comes in all shapes and all sizes. And check out our new skin tones. Find your new. Tell your friends, there's no intimates anywhere like rondashear.com. Hi, it's Rhonda. It's just you, me, the bedroom, and two great movies. Next on USA Up, all night. Mm. Rhonda here in USA, up all night, and just as I promised, it's just you and me, the bedroom. Well, I also do have a few friends stopping by who will get to me some surprises. We'll also keep you amused with two very entertaining films. Later on, we'll screen Chroma's War. But first, a film which demonstrates synchronized napkins.
synchronized movement. Six. Drugs. We're sorry too, Wesley. And rock and roll. This one's got everything, including a storyline. So let's get right into I Was a Teenage Sex Mutant, our first feature on USA Up All Night. We'll begin to see the rewards of that research when we return to our drama. Hi. Hey, Rhonda. Hi. It's Carla Tamborelli, my close friend and neighbor. Carla, why did you just jump through the window and not the stairs? Oh, I'm boycotting the stairs. Why? Because I know the government has means for people to get around without having to walk, and they're holding it back just like cures for diseases, so I'm boycotting the stairs until they do. You know, that makes perfectly good sense to Rhonda. Mm -hmm. Now, you guys don't know this. Well, maybe you do, but Carla is a real actress. She really is. <laughs> she starred in City Slickers. She played the really nasty wife, Arlene, of that Daniel Stern guy. Yeah. And through Rhonda Magic, I can show you. Watch. Carla, you are so mean. Oh, thank you. I love that. <laughs> Do you ever play sluts? <laughs> Not on camera. <laughs> <laughs> You've been doing some interesting things lately. I have. And you didn't you didn't invite Rhonda on that last little escapade. Well, I called you, but you weren't home. I first wanted to go to the mall, then I thought maybe we'd get our hair done together, so you weren't here and I went skydiving. Carla, I can't believe you did that. That's so scary. You jumped out of a plane. Well, you can do that. I'll take you next week. No, I, I don't think so. You just close your eyes. I'd rather go to the mall. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I don't mind. Now, you do so many amazing things. You're a skydiver. You're a real mm -hmm. actress. And you don't take the stairs. And you sing. I know what she's doing. She's going on national tour. This is really, really, really exciting. You may see her in your neighborhood at your local bar or lounge because she's doing this incredible lounge act. And when we come back from these messages, we're going to see Carla Tamborelli, my neighbor and close friend, who doesn't take stairs. What? what? I used to have slippers just like that. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> here in USA up all night with my neighbor Carla Tamborelli who's going on the road with her brand new act and she's going to debut it right here right now on USA up all night okay I'm okay excited, Carla go ahead this is gonna be my last number so I want your opinion okay okay that I died for you know you made me love you Well, you know, I'm, I'm auditioning next week, but I just wanted your opinion. Oh, so you think it's good? It's great. It's art. It's incredible. Oh, great. oh God. Congratulations. Oh, That's beautiful. You. What talent. Now, as we return to I Was a Teenage Sex Mutant, we see our hero, Wesley, go from fool. I think I'll turn in early. To way cool. Stellar. It's amazing what a good shot in the pants can do for a guy. Here's more movie on USA up all night. Oh, girl, I'm so oh, excited thank you. for you. <laughs> yeah, come with me. Do you want your slippers back? No, that's okay. If you promise to come to the first show. I promise. Okay. Don't you try It's great. It's really incredible. Oh, hi. It's Rhonda on USA up all night. <laughs> come in. Rhonda! Don't mess the do. I know. I don't want our mooses to mix. No. <laughs> John is my very dear friend and neighbor. Is that cool? John Machida, you may know him as the Micro Machine Man, but I know him as John. <laughs> I can't stand that landlord. Do you like that landlord? I love that landlord. What's the matter with the landlord? Why don't you like the landlord? Well, he's always listening to everything that I'm doing. Well, I know. He, he reduced my rent in half because I let him listen to my wall. <gasps> John! You know what? I just took a trip on a plane. And I saw you. And through Rhonda Magic, I'm going to show you watch. Now I know what you're thinking. Do I have to watch it again? I have seen it so many times before. Couldn't they at least do it a little more quickly? I mean, something like, um, 
Please make sure your carry-ons fit under the seat in front of you in the overhead bins. When retrieving items from the overhead bins, open them carefully as some shifting may occur during the flight. You know that fruitcake... Make sure that your seat backs and tray tables are in their upright and locked position. There's a safety instruction card in the pocket in front of you. Please use it to follow along as we explain to you the important safety features of this aircraft. Your seatbelt must be fastened when the sign is illuminated. To fasten, you just simply insert here. To tighten, you simply pull here. And to undo, you simply do that. Simple enough. The safety card also shows the location of the emergency exit. Instructions for door operation and slide use are located at each door. And a dark cabin emergency path will lead you to the next exit location. Isn't that romantic? Take a moment to locate the exit nearest you. Good. Smoking is not permitted when the signs are illuminated and never, never, never in laboratories or aisles. Cabin pressure is adjusted for the altitude of our flight. If there is a loss of pressure, a panel will open and an oxygen mask will appear. <laughs> Secure your own mask before assisting children or adults acting like children. The life vest is under your seat and you put it on like this. You just grab the straps and you tighten everything around there and then you just pull this to inflate, but never, never inflate it inside the plane. Or you could just take this thing here and blow. Oh, John, that's so funny and, and so informative. And oh. you got to work with flight attendants. Oh, sure. <laughs> no. I know that you're the Hollywood quick fix guy on KBC. And when you come back, or when we come back from these very important messages, John is going to give us a review of I Was a Teenage Sex Mutant. Wanda likes that. But I can't stand that landlord. Why can't you stand the landlord? What's the matter with the landlord? He listens. He listens to everything. Of course he listens. Why do you think he reduced my rent in half so that he can sneak into my closet in the middle of the night and listen to your handcuffs clattering? I mean, I love that because now I don't have to pay hardly any rent at all because he lets us sit in here and listen to all the noise that goes on all night long. It's great. We'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> And I was a teenage sex mutant. Wesley takes Leanne for a date in his car and gets involved in a terrible head-on. Yikes! Rhonda doesn't think a course on driver's ed is going to help this situation at all. Let's see what happens. It's Rhonda here on USA, up all night. Who could that be? Come in. Hi. Oh, hi. It's Wendy, your new neighbor. I know, next Wendy, door. Hi. turn it off. Gosh, I hope I'm not disturbing you. No, no. I was in. just hoping to um, borrow a cup. A cup of sugar? Uh, no, actually, a C cup. I have a big day tonight. Oh, I have a couple of those. Oh, great. It's right behind the blue hat. Over here? Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, good. I'm oh. glad you like it. What a great new neighbor. And what a great new bra. I left all my new bras in New Jersey, so oh. I really appreciate this. Is that where you're from? You have a seat. Oh, yeah. thanks. Yeah, yeah. I'm from a place called Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Cherry Hill. Mm -hmm. I bet it's really sweet and peaceful and nice there. Um, well, no, no. Actually, there, there's no cherries or no hills. It's just Jersey. Oh. Um, but we have a lot of diners and malls. You like those? Oh, I love to shop. Oh, well, that's the best thing to do there. That's all they have there is really shopping. Oh. In fact, my mom, she once told me, um, you know, went to a new mall and it was yeah. really big. And she said, you know, Wendy, I know this can be overwhelming, but once you conquer a mall, it'll be your friend for life. Oh, and so wow. that's some advice she gave me. That's great advice. Oh, isn't um, it? Yeah, I'd like to meet you in New Jersey. Oh, I'd love that. Oh, good. You must miss all your friends. And... I do, actually. Um, I have two friends that I miss back in Jersey. I, I you know, well, 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 Cheryl, Cheryl Nash, she was Aww. my best friend when I was a little girl. Aww. She was blonde, like you, pretty blonde <laughs> hair, and she, um, she had breasts, like you, <laughs> and, um, and she was Jewish, so she was kind of like a messiah for me. And um, actually, you know, um, Cheryl used to sort of, have, her bedroom was all pink and pretty, Aww, like, really? this is beautiful. I Thank like you. Place. Yeah, I like it. It's so great, and in case it rains, is that that's just wonderful that well. you have it there. Indoor activities. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, anyhow, she, um, Cheryl, the thing that was great about Cheryl was she was always helping me out with my look. You know how you have your whole look yeah. together? She was like, like well, I remember when she um, was helping me with my eyebrows, and she said, you know when, and I'm only saying this because they really love you, you really should have two separate eyebrows. Oh, oh. So um, then she, like, because I had a little... She was very nice Michael of her. Constantine thing happened. Oh, you're so pretty, but she was oh, very thanks. helpful, friend. She was a good friend. She was not a... like my other friend. Ooh. Ooh. Celeste. Celeste, she was mean. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you would have been good with her because she wouldn't have taken advantage of you. She was mean to me. She wants volunteer to um to pierce my ears. Well, that's nice. No, with her teeth. Yikes. <laughs> well, you're gonna love it here in this neighborhood. I promise you, Wendy. Nice. And your bedtime buddy will have more of you. I say up all night in just a minute. Don't go away. And I have lots of, I have lots of my bras oh, and a lot of great. makeup. And, oh. and, and there's great stores here because this is L.A. Yay. All right, thanks. <laughs> Everybody, it's Rhonda, your nightlight of the 90s. You know, I think it's time for Rhonda to prepare for her next movie role. Watch and tell me what you think. Oh, you're a little confused? I guess some of you haven't really been watching our films. Don't you know almost all of them have a scene where the girls dance around the music and change clothes? Let's go back to our film, Assault of the Killer Bimbos, and see if you can find the tribute to MTV. Rhonda will just 
keep rehearsing. Oh, hi, it's me, Rhonda, and USA up all night. And I'm just calling one of those home shopping networks. Just a second. Hello? Oh, hi, I'm on the air? Oh, oh, hi, Skip. No, no, I, I think I'm going to actually pass on that item. In fact, you people listening, do yourself a favor. If you must buy that ceramic doll who looks like Scarlett O'Hara and you're willing to pay for it in three easy installments, people, either get yourself a decent hobby or just stick your head in an oven. Bye, Skip. <laughs> I feel so much better now. Once a week, I like to do something for charity. And believe me, I've just spared some innocent people of a painful, miserable life. You guys go to commercial and Rhonda will be right back for more of USA Up all night. Boys and girls, welcome back to USA Up All Night. It's Rhonda, your enchantress of the evening, keeping you up during the night, so to speak. And now it's time for something we like to call Rhonda's mail call. This is a letter from Jose Cantu. I'm 14 years old and I'm entering my sophomore year of high school. I think you're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. And I really want you to know that I tune into your show every Friday night. I want you to really write back because no one in my house believes that you will. Oh, Jose. Oh, just one last thing. Please put on a bikini on your show sometime. And you know that guy Jack that was on a show a few weeks back? I think he must be the luckiest idiot in the world to have been close to you. <laughs> I would probably faint if I were to get that close to you. Oh, Jose, that's so sweet. Well, I have a surprise for you, Jose. So I know you're jumping up and down right now going, she's reading my letter, she's reading my letter. You have three seconds to turn on that VCR because Rhonda's going to send you something a lot more special than a picture. Ready? That was for you, Jose. Now, study hard in high school. And if you want to see Rhonda's address to mail, any letters to her, it's coming up next. So stay with us as we go back to Attack of the Killer Bimbos. Next, Judy Landers in her role as Miss Zenobia goes against the director's orders and removes her makeup. Just a minute. Rhonda thinks that's a good career move. I can't believe how many sci-fi films I've seen her in. I'm sure you finally recognize her also. It's I Was a Teenage Sex Mutant on USA Up All Night. <laughs> it's Rhonda here on USA Up All Night, and it's time for another letter. Don't you just love this envelope? Check this one out. Dear Rhonda, I've never written to a television personality before, but after finding how accommodating you are to us, yes, I'm a foot fetishist too, I had to write and thank you. I've been watching USA up all night for a couple of years now and recording and editing out your between commercial spots and keeping them on my special tape. Ooh. One of my favorites was the barefoot tomato mashing in the wash tub a few months back and the shopping spree frozen food case shot, yes, and the last one, red pumps, kicked off on the bed. I look forward to every Friday night. It's been said before, you keep teasing and I'll keep watching. Another devoted foot fan, Ronnie from Florida. Well, Ronnie, baby, this is for you. Get that VCR rolling. Touching 
intergalactic conclusion of I was a teenage sex mutant on USA up all night. Come on, you can get out of your foot. Come much for I was a teenage sex mutant. Now, let's move from all that sex and violence to something a bit more subtle. War. Trauma's war to be exact. It's the story of a bunch of misfits who survive a plane crash and meet up with a different bunch of misfits starting a war. Let's get right to our little festival of miscreants. Trauma's war. It's Rhonda here in USA. Up all night. Yes, your little bedtime buddy has another fan letter. Oh, I just love this part of my job. Dear Rhonda, I've been watching your show for quite some time now, and I must say that you're the most beautiful woman on and off TV that I've ever seen. Also, you have the best feet of any woman that I've ever seen. Take care of those precious toes. I must tell you that you are doing a great job on USA Up All Night, so keep up the good work and keep showing more cleavage, because I'd rather see cleavage on Fridays than Gilbert Godfrey on Saturdays. P.S. Could you blow me a kiss on TV? Your biggest Up All Night fan, David Garcia. Okay, David. The only thing is, David, I don't know about this cleavage thing. Toes and feet, yes, but, you know, the girls have a mind of their own, and I don't know if I can really help you, in, you know, with that. Hey, I know what my cameraman's doing. Enough of that, okay? Feet, feet, yes, but the girls, it's their night off. <laughs> now. Back to Troma's War on USA. Up oh, all night. <laughs> More of our movie and other stuff when USA Up All Night continues after these messages. As we continue, someone finally has the good sense to ask. Who are these soldiers? Why are they trying to kill us? Let's return to Troma's War and find out. An army root canal procedure for the first time on network television. Viewer discretion is advised in the following segment of Troma's War on USA. Up! All night. It's your nighttime nibble on USA. Up! All night. We'll be right back. Now return to Troma's War on USA up all night. We'll have more movie and more fun right after these messages on USA up all night because I'm Rhonda. I said so and I mean it. Remember, too much of a good thing is good. <laughs> In our next segment, we see how war affects the people in battle. You tried chopping Siamese twins apart with the machete and not change. Oh, Rhonda loves these sensitive moments. Let's get back to Troma's War. More USA up all night in just a minute. to hear your goddess of good times on USA up all night. We return to Troma's War. Rhonda wants to hear from you. Write me at Rhonda, USA up all night, P.O. Box 5719, Beverly Hills, California, 90209, 5719. <laughs>
And now, the final fury, the conclusion of Troma's war on USA, up all night. And that puts the lid on another edition of USA, up all night. Please join me next week for more films and fun. Same time, same place. But don't you run away because coming up next is Silent Night, Deadly Night 4, The Initiation. Ooh, very scary. Remember, if it's L.A., it's Rhonda. Up all night to the cows come home. Stuck at home and you don't know what to do. Hold on, baby, Rhonda, she's got you. Grab your computer, log on, baby, you got the path. It's the Rhonda Shear Social Lab. It's the Rhonda Shear Social Lab.